And then uh, next pocket, I have my phone. Uh, this is uh, just a button pocket. I just put my phone in there because I like having easy access. Uh, a bottle since <laughs> we have a kid and then we have an unknown on the way. So if you haven't noticed, I am very pregnant. I'm 37 weeks. Uh, so we're doing a lot of videos all in one go. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like I said, then your back part closest to you, which is important to always put your purse on your body where your gun is closest to you and you can grab your zip or open up the zipper always the same direction. So if you're right-handed, you probably want to have it on your right-hand side so you can open up your zipper. If you're left-handed, I mean, you can still do it right-handed. But if you're left-handed, I would suggest putting it on the other side so that you can actually just thought of this as I'm saying this video. You always want this zipper if you need to ever lock it. Um, on this side if you have to lock it because it locks and then you can only open it one way. So it doesn't have a lock on both sides. So just so you know, if you have to lock it, you need to lock it all the way on this side. Okay. But you can have it on either way to open it. Sorry, okay. that was a side note. So that, that particular purse, is it works that way. Okay. And then there's also one more back pocket for other little things, which I could use for my phone as well. And I have. Uh, so that's my review on concealed carry purse. Uh, downfalls of a concealed carry purse is it's heavy. Uh, this one's leather, and I thought leather lasts longer, so I wanted a leather purse. Uh, it's heavy. This specific one was a cheaper brand because this was my first um, concealed carry purse and so I uh, researched it and I wanted it small and to have a lot of compartments. Um, it kind of wore, it's wearing out faster than it should so if you can see stuff. there's a little bit of wear and tear and uh, here um, so that's not my favorite. If I were to get another one I might not actually even get leather because I prefer things that are lighter um, but yes yeah, so there okay. you are. And so this was a, a Roma leather purse. Uh, I think we got it on Etsy, didn't we? I know there were some on Etsy that were the same one. Yeah. So yes. Uh, Roma leather has lots of different purses. But um, so what um, What would you say are, are like, if you were to, to buy another purse, what would you prioritize? What would you do different? Uh, still small and compact because I don't like big pur purses. And I, I definitely carry a diaper bag all the time, so it could even be smaller um, and lighter. Smaller and lighter. I'd maybe keep the same size or a little smaller and lighter would be my two things. So like a different material, not leather? Uh, possibly. Uh, okay. Which, when you watch my fanny pack video, you'll see that I've actually grown to like, if, if a, as long as it can carry and keep the gun safe, I'm okay with a lighter material and, yeah. and durable. So there you are. Durable. And I think that's an important thing too, is that the strap be strong enough to support somebody trying to yank it off. So this is a thick, thick yes. material for strap. And you can see the... It has extra webbing on this one. That's also okay. why I liked this one. So extra webbing and it's got really thick hardware here too. So if somebody were to try to yank it off of you, they'd have to work pretty hard. Yep. Um, which of course is one of the downfalls of a purse is that it can get ripped off of you and now you've lost your gun. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any comments, um, or questions or anything like that, leave a comment, uh, like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time. God bless.